Today I'm going to show you what it's like to fly for Drones Unlimited. It's a three million dollar piece of land, it's commercial, um, but this is a very easy job. We're going to use the Phantom 4 Pro and I have the camera on a tripod and by myself. We're in Florida today, it is in the 50s, so I got my cargo shorts and a hoodie on which is perfect for the weather we have going on today. The Phantom's over there in the box, if you can even see it, it looks like it's in the bottom of the screen. Um, it's sitting on the Go Professional case, that's my launching pad today and uh, we're gonna take off and get some footage of this property. Take off. The whole point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So right now the settings on the drone, I have it as JPEG and RAW. And we use the RAW to edit the photos with. JPEG's kind of a preview. RAW's absolutely uh, necessary. So right now we have the drone over the property. Uh, the lighting is perfect. We have a little bit of clouds and that's and the sun's peeking through. And that's all we need. And uh, I think it looks perfect. So that's about 90 feet over this property. And again, I want to say this one more time. This is a $3 million piece of property. Um, we were only hired today to take pictures and that's what we're going to do. And uh, right now the lighting is absolutely perfect. The shadows are not too hard. We have a little bit of cloud coverage. What you don't want is a sky that's blue and the sun's just beaming on the property because then it makes your shadows black. And you don't want dark black shadows. So this to me is perfect. And if you look at these real estate signs in the front of the property, um, in post I have to remove those because um, it is e not illegal but a real estate agent will get fined having those real estate signs in the listing. So that must be removed in Photoshop after um, we take these pictures. And because it's a commercial lot, what's important is to show what's around it. So we need to show that the road, which is a main road, connects to this property. So what I'm, I know the hori horizon is a little crooked, it's a little off, but we can, we can rotate it in post, not a problem. And that's normal for drones, they're all gonna be a little crooked. You're not gonna, it, they're never gonna be perfectly level. It's just, I don't know why, it's just how it is. So let's show that the road is connecting. That's what we're gonna do and take a picture. Now in this angle, what I'm trying to do is I'm lining up the buildings with the center of this property. That was a little close. <laughs> okay, right now we're in the back part of the property and what we're gonna try to do is center this property from corner to corner in the center of the screen. And this is an issue that I notice um, when I've, I've even hired drone pilots and some of the footage I've gotten back would be, um, I'd ask to shoot the, lip, the property and they'd give me images that look like this. You know, so if you notice that's half sky half ground, that's not what you want. You need to point the camera at the property and center it. Even if there's no sky, just, just a little bit of sky is okay. Just a little horizon at the top of the screen is okay. That's a good image right there. But sometimes people will do this. So the problem we have right now at this time of the year is that because it's cold, all the grass is brown, it's sort of dead. And uh, so when we take pictures in post in Photoshop or Lightroom, we have to make sure that the property is more green and the colors are appropriate because brown just looks bad. It just doesn't look good. Another mistake that I notice people do is sometimes they'll only take pictures at three, 400 feet up of the property. Um, in my opinion, I, I believe some of the lower shots are the most beautiful shots of properties. So I took a few at about 300 feet. Now we're gonna go down to about 100 or lower, so we're gonna get a little sneaky. We're gonna try to get down just a little lower. We're at 140, and we're creeping down really slow to get to show the uh, roll of the land, to show the hills. Um, the client did not order video footage, so I'm only showing you the video footage of this property. And of course, there's power lines right in the middle. 
So right now the drone is heading to the front of the property. And I'm gonna to go to the front and then turn around so we can see the lay of the land. So it's about 30 feet off the ground. The drone's only about 60 feet off to my left and I can see it. So we're going to the front of the property and I'm gonna spin the drone around. We're pretty low, about 10, 13 feet off the ground. And we're gonna take pictures at this angle. Now look at the difference of this. This is a straight on shot of the land. So now people have a, a really good idea how this, this land lays. So let's take a few shots at this. This is 10 feet off the ground. Let's take a few shots. So we got a few shots, I'm 14 feet off the ground. And I'm gonna creep around these trees to see if we could find some better angles. And this grass is pretty tall, so we don't wanna be any lower than that. So there we go, another beautiful angle. And this is another little trick, right? You just float around the property, FPV style. The drone, I can see the drone. It's not even, it's not that far from me. And we're gonna take some shots like this. And we're at 30% battery, so I'm gonna have to bring it back pretty soon. But let's see if we can get another shot before we bring the drone back. I think that's pretty. So we're showing what's important about this image right here, what you're looking at. That power pole in this road, that's very important. It might not seem important, but it is. Um, that's worth a lot of money to have that power pole put there with these power lines. All right, now it's time to bring the drone back. We got a few good low shots and bring her back. We're at 20 feet zipping around trees and I'm not too far. We gotta watch those power lines. We go over those power lines. We're at about 50 feet. I guess we can go over these trees instead of under them. Let's go over the trees. And I'm on just the other side right here. Here we are. That was one battery. And I'm gonna fly one more battery just because I'm showing you guys and girls what we're doing. So I'm gonna bring the drone back. We're gonna catch it. Now the reason I catch it is um, I try to save the camera and the landing gear. So ever since I've owned this drone, I've caught it 99% of the time just to save the drone from hitting its legs in the floor. So we're just gonna swap this battery out, put another battery in and we're done. Typically one battery would have been plenty, um, but today I wanted to show you, um, you people what it's like. So we're gonna put battery number two in here and get a few more shots and then we're on our way home. So we have battery number two put in the drone and let's take off and get the rest of the shots. So we are pointing in front of the property and uh, I did mention earlier we need to show that these roads connect but make sure the drone does not hover off the main road. You don't want to be over traffic. So we're just off to the side and then we're, we're going to situate the drone so that we can show potential buyers that the main road connects just like this. So I do want to reiterate, this is the front of the property. An issue is people taking pictures like this. That is not a picture you want to give to anybody. Unless you're doing sunset photography, that's a pretty shot. But we're shooting land. So because the land's for sale, that's what's important. So we're gonna focus the land and make sure it's in the shot. And with that, we're also gonna to try to line up the road. So at the bottom of the screen, I'm trying to line up the road as much as I can. And then now that I believe it's lined up, we'll square off this image down and right about there is a good shot of the property. You can put the lines and they can see just about everything they need to see instead of showing them just the sky. So this is sort of important. We're in the corner, the front corner of the property. Right now what you're looking at is the property squared in the center of the screen. But I'm gonna back the drone up just a little further back more and then tilt the camera up. So with that, the property is still centered, 
but we're getting more information in the image. When I say information, the location of this property. So the more information we can give showing this, this listing, the better, the better it is for clients so people can see what they're buying. And you must remember what's, what's important about taking these pictures, and I keep reiterating this, this is for the potential buyer. Buyers need to know what they're buying. If they're looking at the sky and they're from another state and that's all they see, they're not gonna buy the property. So we got a few, um, now we're on the left side of the property. The property is centered on the screen. And um, of course we're recording right now, but these are sort of the images you wanna take. You can take one right there in the center. You can take another once you're at the other at the end, or you can do a pano. And if you do a pano, the image would, would stretch from one side to the other. And what's going on right now is we're going back into the property a little lower. That's at 150 and we're going back down and down. And we wanna get some more low shots. So since we did, we took pictures around the whole property um, from corner to corner. And now we're just gonna take some more lower shots. I may as well burn the battery down as much as I can and get as much footage as I can. So after two batteries, we're gonna bring the drone back. That's plenty enough footage. Um, typically one battery is enough that should give you about 20 minutes or so of flight time and uh, you know 20 minutes flying a drone of, of a property I don't think that's a bad gig um, in my opinion I think this is better than uber um, uber you have to transport people around and they mess up your car this business you can just show up by yourself and fly a drone so um, if I had to make an argument I think being a drone pilot is better than being a, an uber driver and um, that's what you see here. We're gonna bring the drone back through the trees, perhaps. Try not to hit nothing because I have the obstacle avoidance off. It gives me issues sometimes. So I'd like to just turn it off. So the drone's really close. I just have to try to miss everything. There we are. Let's bring it back. That's it. And what I'm going to do now is catch it, like I said, we'll save the landing gear. And of course, you got to love the Phantom 4s because you can actually do that. They have long legs. You can grab those legs. And that's it, as easy as that. So we're here for, what? 45 minutes, we burnt two batteries. One battery could have got this job done, but I wanted you guys and girls to see what it's like to fly for Drones Unlimited. Very easy. Um, if I had to make an argument, this is way better than Uber. Um, you know, this is actually fun. You can make some good money. If you do two of these a day, you're making some really good money. If you do three a day, you could probably buy yourself a used Ferrari. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, I do appreciate you guys and girls watching this. I'm going to get going. Um, we have about a 30-minute drive back to the office, and we're going to go through the footage and make sure it's all good.